stem cells are the body's master cells with the natural ability to generate new cell types. Stem cells offer great promise for new life-saving medical treatments. Despite its potential to cure disease, stem cell research has been a source of controversy on moral and ethical grounds because stem cells have been commonly derived from embryos. Some five years ago, Dr. Shinya Yamanaka made a discovery that changed stem cell research fundamentally, all around the world, for good. I made a, a long-term goal or vision of my own laboratory. The vision is to make stem cells, not from embryos, but from uh, patients' own cells, like skin cells or blood cells. So, uh, what I did first uh, was uh, identify as many factors as possible which play important roles in stem cells, uh, in embryonic stem cells. So we have identified many genes, many factors, and then we found that by combining some of those factors, we can actually uh, convert uh, skin cells into stem cells. Uh, there are three major applications of this technology. The first one uh, is uh, stem cell therapy. So we would like to make, again, uh, like neurons from iPS cells. Then uh, we would like to transplant those neurons uh, to patients. The second application is drug screening. So uh, we can make iPS cells from patients. So then we can use those cells to screen thousands of chemicals uh, in order to identify a uh, new uh, effective drug for that patient. The third application is uh, toxicology testing. <laughs> The simplicity of Dr. Yamanaka's technology was initially met with skepticism, but within months, laboratories across the world had adopted this new groundbreaking approach to generating and studying stem cells, thanks to the fact that Dr. Yamanaka made his data publicly available for all scientists. Dr. Yamanaka has changed more than the way laboratories around the world operate. He has changed the way scientists think. We used to think that a cell in an adult, most cells in the adult, were fixed in their state. And that was it. They could not never be changed. And what Yamanaka's work has shown us is that in fact that's not the case. We have the power, given our current tools in science, to fundamentally alter the state, what he showed from a adult state into a stem cell state. And since then, our lab and many other labs around the world have shown that, in fact, we can now change a fate of a cell from one adult cell type into another adult cell type. We can push the levers up and down of the genome and now tell a cell what we want it to be. And we couldn't do that or hadn't thought to do that before Yamanaka's work. So his discovery has gone beyond just uh, finding a new way to make stem cells. It's altered the way we think about the fixed state of any cell in our body.